let's work on this egg drop physics problem. So let's say you're on a roof of a building that is 80 meters above the ground. Your friend who is 1.6 meters tall is walking alongside the building at a constant speed of 0.8 meters per second. Where should your friend be if you wish to drop an egg on his head? Not that you want to do that in real life, but for the sake of solving this physics problem, how far from the building should he be when you release the egg? Now, we need to realize that we're dealing with a two-dimension kinematics problem. We have motion in the x direction and motion in the y direction. In order for this to work, the time that it takes for the egg to drop from the top of the building to the top of your friend's head, that time has to be equal to the time that it takes your friend to walk from the position where he's starting from to the point where the egg drops. So we have to make sure that those times are equal. Right now, let's write the equation for the displacement in the horizontal and the vertical direction. So your friend is moving at a constant speed of 0.8 meters per second to the right. So for constant speed, we have this equation. D is equal to VT. Our goal in this problem is to find out how far your friend must be from the building when you release the egg. So the answer for this problem that we're looking for is D, the horizontal distance. We can also call it dx. Now, we know how fast your friend is moving towards the building. So vx is 0.8 meters per second times t. So once we find the time it takes for the egg to drop from here to here, we just got to plug it into this formula. And then that's going to tell us how far away from the building he needs to be. So now, in order to calculate the time it takes to go from position A to position B, we need to focus on motion in the y direction, vertical motion. Now, because the egg will be falling under the influence of gravity, we have motion with constant acceleration. So the displacement formula will be different. This displacement formula deals with motion with constant speed. Now we're dealing with constant acceleration. So we could use this equation. The displacement in the y direction is equal to vy initial t plus 1 half at squared. Now, because you're, because you're releasing the egg from rest, you're not throwing it down, vy initial is 0. So this disappears. So the vertical displacement is simply 1 half a t squared. Now what is the distance between A and B? The distance that the egg is going to fall by or its vertical displacement. It's the difference between the height of the building and the height of your friend. So 80 minus 1.6 that's going to be 78.4 meters. So now the displacement in the y direction is negative 78.4 because you're going down. The distance is positive 78.4. So in order for this formula to work, if you're going to use the negative value for displacement, you should use the negative value for acceleration because time has to be positive. So this is going to be negative 78.4, which is equal to 1 half times negative 9.8. That is the acceleration due to gravity. Half of 9.8 is 4.9. So now let's divide both sides by negative 4.9. divided by 4.9 is 16. And the two negative signs will cancel. So we get positive 16. And that's equal to t squared. So now we've got to take the square root of both sides. 
and we get t is equal to 4 seconds. So it's going to take 4 seconds for the egg to drop from position A to position B. So now how far should your friend be if the egg is going to reach him in 4 seconds? So now we're going to take this answer and plug it into that formula. So it's simply 0.8 meters per second times 4 seconds. The seconds will cancel. So we're going to get the distance in meters. We know that 8 times 4 is 32. So 0.8 times 4 is going to be 3.2. So that's how far he needs to be from the building when you release the egg from, from rest. By the way, for those of you who want more example problems on displacement, velocity, acceleration, kinematics, projectile motion, relative velocity, feel free to check out the links in the description section below. I'm going to be posting more content there for those of you who want more example problems to work on. So feel free to check that out when you get a chance. And thanks for watching.